because when you talk about a business glossary or data dictionary, you've got tons of different names. People talk about inventories and dictionaries and elements and all that kind of stuff. And we get RPs all the time or, or sales requests that says, hey, you know, we're looking for a solution that allows us to document our data elements. Or we're looking for a solution that allows us to create a data dictionary. We're looking for a solution that allows us to generate a, uh, you know, a, a data catalog or, or data inventory. And I was like, okay, that's great. But what are we, <laughs> what are you talking about by this? So, it doesn't really matter to me what terminology you use within your organization, but just know that, that the term itself is imprecise. So be clear with your organization. So when I talked about this before, you said you have your functional information and your technical information. So your system agnostic. So you have a definition for something that might be, this is what a um, active customer is. And you define an active customer as someone who has made a purchase within the last year, or, you know, whatever that might be defined for. And that is your functional definition. Now over here, you've got all your technical data systems. So you've got, you know, maybe I have my point of sale system and I've got my I, um, CRM system, my finance system and my transactional database. I have a whole bunch of different systems here um, that I've got. And I've got, you know, documented that data models there. Now, what I can say is like, I'm defining what an active customer is. And it's like, oh, you know, someone who you know, is, has made a purchase from us in the last year. Okay. then. If I'm looking at the catalog or the technical data model for my point of sale system, there are certain places and fields and things that I would do in order to figure out what an active customer is in that point of sale system. If I'm looking in my CRM, I'm gonna have to look at a totally different set of data. If I'm looking in my finance system, maybe a totally different set of fields. But the point is that you want to be able to say that these technical definitions for each relevant data system that I'm, you know, where I can find out an active customer, I want to know, I want technical guidance on how to find that information and pull that up in, into here. So you've got one functional definition and multiple technical definitions for each relevant data system. And that makes a connection over to this system here. And sometimes that's one to one. I've got a column in this database. It's fully defined by this glossary term, but often it's not like, you know, I might have a glossary term called preferred name or formatted name or something like that. And in the database, I've got a first name and a last name and a middle name and a prefix and a suffix and a, and a nickname and like the full, full formatted or preferred formatted name is, is some concatenation of all those fields in, in that. So if you, you, know, you can't really have a single glossary term that's you know, derived from a column in the database because some of it is a, is a combination of items there. Um, there's also, there's another thing that people sometimes get confused, which is like if I have my technical data model here and I'm looking at columns and things like that, you can add supplemental information around that, you know, curated information around that data model that might be you know, I want to add a more detailed comment about this, or I want to clarify what the data type is, or I might want to add you know, some other things, or, or I might want to tag this as being um, sensitive or, or FERPA or HIPAA or PII or GDPR or whatever those things might be, <clears throat> um, and, and touch that. And that, that is great. That's supplemental information you've associated with that physical data model. That's not the same as having a glossary term, which is saying that would which is also supplemental information, which is basically saying, hey, I'm connecting this up to a, a business term right here. Um, you can also have policy attributes and things that are associated at the glossary level. So there you go. That's a little bit about what this stuff is and how we represent the stuff in our database.